Okay, so we're going to start by doing a walk cycle. Not a walk cycle, sorry. Nonsense. A run cycle. A run cycle with Monty. So here's Monty. Comes in it roughly looking the same way every time. So first of all, we're just going to make sure we see nothing. And then we're going to turn on the nerves, curves and the polygons. Just like the walk cycle. And then we'll do the same thing here. Show. None. Go back. Polygons and nerves curves and that's it and then of course we have to set a project so we're going to go file project window go into the new and we'll call this um, Monty running I could call it Monty run but I might have another one called that so I'll just say Monty running and then we'll go file and we'll go set File, set project, and we'll make sure we go to the one that we have just made, which is Monty running, which is here, set. And that means that all the project files will be stored in the same place. Okay, so we've got Monty, it's good to go. I have, I'm going to do this using this cycle, just open this up, this run cycle. Now, this is half a cycle, you'll see, because if it was a full cycle, the leg here would be the one that the leg that the character ends on, but it isn't. It is half a cycle, but it's not a problem because what we can do is you just animate this leg up to here, and then you've got to remember that what happens in a cycle. So this bit here is that then we just continue this white leg here, the 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 one not in shadow which is the equivalent of this frame but on the other side so we continue on this side with these motions until it puts he puts his foot down again and then we have a full cycle so as opposed to seven if seven's the midpoint it will be 13 remember you double it and subtract one because the start and the end frame are the same so I'm going to go back to this and I'm going to make it 13 frames long Okay, 13. So it's a lot shorter. I'll go into panels, orthographic new, and I'm going to go to the left again because this character we've got here is running in this direction. So, first of all, start with a bit where the foot is first. I'm going to get rid of this. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to get rid of it anyway. We'll start where the foot is furthest extended out. So that is here, like this. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, it's kind of straight out. And we've used this before, so we kind of know we've got the heel roll, which we're going to use. We'll have that like this. And we're going to pull this up further. And I'm going to lift. Oh, let's have a look at this again. How high up is he? He drops down a bit there, goes up a bit there. It's quite a level kind of run, so I'll have it like this. Maybe down a fraction, maybe there. Okay, so I'm going to key this. S. And that will also key the, key, the heel roll. Yeah? i go at this again. How long is his foot on the ground for? His foot is on actually on the ground for four frames. Just. So it's quite a long time, but four frames. He's really stretching back here at frame number four. So I'm going to go frame four. I'm going to pull the foot. I'm going to take the heel roll off though. Oh, not quite yet. I'm going to pull this all the way back. Now, that's four. I'm probably going to take the heel roll off it. It's very fast. I might take it off here. I might take it off at two. So I might take it off. So four. Let's see. How far back is this? Right back like that. So there we go. Really stretching. Yeah. That, that, that. It's a much faster move. Yeah. And also to get the shape correct, I'm going to put a bit of ball roll on this. So I might just go like this. There we go. Get his foot in the ground. And I'll take the ball roll off here. Again, fast transitions over. So no ball roll there. So you've got this. It's a fast move, yeah? Oops. That to that. So it starts here. Bit of heel roll. Here's the heel roll. Just I normally in animation you don't use one frame transitions, but because this is very quick, I think I think we can get away with it. And then you got the toe roll, sorry, the ball roll here. So heel heel roll at the start, ball roll at the end. 
and you have this translation. We have we've, we've left this as it is like this. Okay, bang. So that's the first thing. Right, and then at frame six, the foot is off the ground and sticking up in the air like that. So frame six. We'll go to frame six next. Uh, um, so I'm just. I try to leave, um, you know, as opposed to animating just one frame at a time. That that can give you a kind of staccato look to your to your animation. I'm going to. I tend to not do that. So there we go. I've got the foot like this. Toes look a bit weird, and I'm going to bend this over, and I'm going to try and replicate this in frame six. So the foot's kind of like that. Now I'm not going to, you know these Wii controls here, the, the, the ones in white, I'm only going to use those when the feet are on the ground. I'm not going to use those when it's up in the air. I'm going to try and do almost all my stuff, or most of it, using the, just the rotations and the translations on the main control. So, let's see about that. Ah, what's that look like? And of course you can do this. You pull it up a wee bit. And let us okay. So let's go that, 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 and that's six. And then we've got seven. Now remember, I said here's six. Now I'm going to go two frames along. Now two frames is actually because this frame is the same as this one, but on the alternative side. So from six. It actually goes to what this guy is doing here, but on this on this side. So this foot should be bent down like this. I'm going to try this. So dropping it down, dropping it down like this, curving it around. Oops. See what I did there? What I did there was I started animating without moving the frame. So hang on, I'm going to put that back to where it was. It's very easily done. Especially when you're talking at the same time. There we go. So I'm going to go to frame 8, I should say, which is this. I'm going to drop this down a bit. So just pull this over. Pull this. The legs. I'm, I'm probably going to. I'll lift the body up afterwards. I'm going to see, I'm going to see what this is like. Something like this. And then that's 8, 9, 10. It's coming out. 10 is. What does it look like? The foot's kind of sticking out like that. So we've got the foot now turning this way. It's coming out a bit. Oops, get that down. Let's get this like this. Yeah, let's kind of pull it out a bit more. Yeah, more like that. So we got this, this, this. That's ten. And then we've got this one here where the foot's kind of bent but still coming down a bit, which is approximately 12. And finally, we have, I oh, just copy that from the start and paste that at the end, 13. Now, this needs a bit of finessing, but this is the general idea, yeah? Not great, but it gives you. A sense of what's happening. So we've got, you know, we've got this. Foot comes back. Ah, now it's, you just have to be careful with this because, of course, I've rotated this, this, uh, this one in the X. But I forgot when I, when you're making, when I made this, this change here at frame number six, I forgot to, to, to use zero out to key this. The last frame, just before his foot comes off the ground, is frame four. So I had to make sure that this was still on zero X rotations, and I didn't. So it's very easy to fix. I just press S to make a key in that, and I'm going to bring that down, make sure it's at zero. Then I'm going to do this. I've done the same thing on the Y, just by pressing S. I'm going to bring this down. So this is where it should be. Yeah. Sometimes, so I, you, sometimes you notice that. Now, so the foot's going like that. Now this is a bit weird. So what should happen? The foot should go forward. I think the foot should maybe be a bit further back here. 
So I'm going to go here. You can see, you can actually see the curves are looking a bit strange. So maybe I could pull this back. You know, they, they have a kind of logic to them. So that to that. So that forward, back, coming forward again, and down. That, that, that. Okay. So this is what we have so far. This. Okay, it's very rough. Forward, up. And another thing we can you can look at if you want to think, you know, how how is this motion? Is it working? Is you can go into your uh, if you're in your animation menu, you can go to visualize and look at your editable motion trails, and you can put those on. If you go to show motion trails, just to see you sh you should be getting kind of arcs. And the great thing about these motion trails is you can by click if you click on them you can actually adjust you adjust a trail and it actually adjusts your animation so you can get kind of nice effects. There is no key there, that's why there's no let me raise this up a bit, making a key. And then I've got this. I'm trying to think, should this go out? Let's have a look at my picture again. Now of course you can do all these things using reference. I wouldn't recommend you using um you know, drawn reference all the time. I mean, I think it's ultimately when you become, when you start animating, it's much better to use real reference. And, you know, you can adapt that or use it, you know, real people running and jumping and things like this. But but just to make this, to simplify this, I think it's 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 quite handy having this reference. I mean, it's, it's, it's good cartoony animation. So, so the food's out here, the food comes up. So the future's at its highest point about not here but here according to this. So that's, that's, that was a bit higher. Not too high, let's see there. And then we've got so we've got this now. I could drop this down a bit too. So yeah, you're trying to get a nice smooth I can see his knees popping a little bit, but I can deal with that. Okay, so we've got this. Now let's have a look at the body. So the body's lowest on two, and then it's dropping down again. So it's down on two, and it goes up after that. Okay, so I'm going to drop the body down on the two. First of all, key it on first frame, it's always a good idea. We'll drop it down a bit on the two. And then, so it's down on the two, it's come up's highest point is on four. So I'll go to four and I'm gonna raise it up on four. And you can see what you're doing here, you know? So down, lower, highest here, four. Then number one and seven will be the same, so I'll copy this and seven because remember the point of the head on